Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 32. Deploy to AWS EC2 Part 2. Set up key pair and security group. We need to set up a few more things before we can launch our EC2 instance. In this episode, we'll create the key pair. We'll view the default virtual private cloud. You really don't need to change that, but you do need to create a custom security group. If you want to code along, you just need to have an Amazon account set up with an IM user. You can watch part one to get that ready, as we'll be logged in as our IM user to create the key pair. From the AWS dashboard, you'll choose EC2 to open up the Amazon EC2 console. In the navigation pane, under Network and Security, click Key Pairs. Then you'll create your key pair, and they have a recommended naming system, your name or whatever you are going to call it, key pair, and then the region that you're creating it under. You can have different key pairs for different regions, so you may want to be sure to do that. You'll download that file, then we'll move it to a safe place. So we do need to have our terminal ready. I keep it in the same folder with my other keys, which is my .ssh folder. Then you want to change the permission on that file so only you can read it. Here we are on the AWS console, and now we're clicking on EC2. From here, let's just double check our region. Okay, we're going to be in Oregon, so that's going to be a US West region. And now let's go ahead and to network security key pairs. And now we create a key pair. And I'm just going to paste in my name there that I've chosen. And it creates, now it's going to let me save the file. And that's saved to my downloads folder. So in my terminal, I will move from downloads, the key pair, to the .ssh folder. Now let's just go and check it out, make sure. So I go into the SSH folder and list it, and there is the PAM file. Now I'm going to change the permissions to 400 so that only I can read it. And enter, and that's done. Now let's visit the console for the virtual private cloud just to check out the defaults. So let's go ahead and open a new tab and I'll just paste in that link and go to it. And if you wanted to follow the documentation to create your custom virtual private cloud, that's fine. I think what's set up for you is good enough. You only really need to change them if you're doing something more advanced than simply launching an EC2 instance. However, I do suggest you create a custom security group because that's also associated with your region. Now, this is a case where, again, you need to read the documentation very carefully. The documentation for getting set up for Amazon EC2 mentions that, hey, if you're on the virtual private cloud console, it's slightly different to create a security group than if you were on the EC2 console. And that's what happened to me when I was setting it up. So I've included both directions for you. So if you're on VPC, you'll choose security groups, You'll create the security group. You'll fill in whatever name you want. They recommend name, SG, and then the region. Then you click on the inbound rules tab and you choose edit and add rules for the inbound traffic. So HTTP, you're gonna want to copy paste in those zeros because that means anybody can come to the HTTP. And then the same thing for HTTPS that anybody can come with those zeros. Now, here's a decision you need to make. Are you going to set up a specific IP address that allows SSH, or are you going to allow anybody? Now, I often travel around to different coffee shops that are gonna have different IP addresses. So for me, it's really just easier to set it as anybody can come in. But if you are usually at one place, then it is much more secure to set that IP address for SSHing into the instance. That's actually much easier to do from the EC2 panel. So I do recommend going to the EC2 panel. It's a little easier, but just in case, I've included both of these. So it's really the same thing again, except now you get to select anywhere. You don't have to copy paste. And then when you add the rule for SSH, you can select my IP address. Amazon will find that and put that in for you. All right, so here we are on the VPC console and we're gonna make our security group from here. 
and you can put it all in and it's it's very similar so I'll edit and we'll select the HTTP first and then I'll copy in all those zeros so that anyone can come and visit the HTTP now let's add HTTPS same thing copy paste in and now we'll add SSH and copy in so you see it's a little bit more work but we're gonna save it there and now we'll just check out the outbound rules just in case you need to change those not for just a normal web server here is the EC2 panel okay you can also access security groups you can also create a security group and you see the form is different All right, a little bit more filled in for you because it knows you're creating this group really for your EC2 so here you go, my IP, and it filled it right in. So again, I recommend actually doing it from the EC2 panel, but there you go. Now we are set up to actually launch our EC2 instance. To catch that episode, be sure to head on over to rubythursday.com to sign up for my mailing list. You can click that ruby right there in your video. And if you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can click that red button to do so. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you soon.